Hello Digi fans and welcome back to Digidom, the series of videos where I take you from zero to digital hero using Adobe Spark. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to put together your own dual coded images. Now, that sounds a bit fancy, but really, in real life, what that means is using text and images together so you can remember things better. Now, this tutorial is going to be using a Shakespeare quote, the bard nonetheless, in order to show you how to put images and text together so you can remember them more. But you can also do this with like the lyric from your favorite song, for example, or if you're trying to learn a new language, use text and images in order to get those crazy foreign sounding words stuck in your memory. So as always, if you're using a phone or a tablet, you can download Adobe Spark Post. If you're using a laptop or a desktop, go to spark.adobe.com. As I said in the introduction, I'm going to use a Shakespeare quote, but just to let you know that you can use all sorts of things. Here's a lyric from a song, for example, your favorite song. You need to be yourself. You can't be no one else. But let's get started by creating a project here. I'm going to go to down to view all. If you're on an iPad, it looks slightly different, but press the plus. I'm going to go to graphics and I'll just show you how to do it using a Twitter quote, just because I think quite a nice size. Okay, go to layout on the right hand side here. Uh, I'm going to do two images. So you'll see now I've got one image here and then I've got a blank space here. So you can use the kind of slider in the middle there to change up the size. If you need to, you can also scale images, zoom in and zoom out. Uh, you can also rotate them if that's something you want to do. So uh, I'm going to go to the text section here. Now, the quote I'm going to do is double, double, toil and trouble, copy. I've copied that now. I'm going to go back to mine, double click, select all the text, paste my new text in there, put a little space in between. Okay, done. Now, you can use the little circles on the, on the ends here to kind of resize and do what you want with it. You'll see that there's a yellow line, yellow dotted line that pops down the middle to tell you that you've centered it. Can I get them all on one line? There you go, that's a bit better, nice. Now, obviously we've got Albert Einstein in here. Albert Einstein did not say that quote. Uh, it was said by the three witches in act four, scene one of Macbeth. So if I go back here, select all, pop that in there, click done, and here we go. Uh, maybe I'll make that, I'll keep that smaller than the quote itself. I'll center that as well. Now, on the left hand side, instead of the upside down fishbowl, I'm going to replace that. And I've got this one double, double toil and trouble. Now, it was said by the witches. So if I put witches in there, and I've already looked and I've seen this one before, here are two witches. Okay. Now, because the quote says double, double, I know that it's three witches, but there's two witches in here, and that's going to help me remember double, double. So I'm going to keep that one in there. I'm going to scale it a little bit, bring them down. I just want the eyes to pop over the top of the quote. And then on the other side, we've got fire burn and cauldron bubble. So I'm going to add in a photo here. Now, of course, you can, if you've got photos on your machine that you might have downloaded online, for example, uh, you can find those. You can also you know, go to any of your services like Google Drive or Creative Cloud, wherever you like to go. I'm going to go to free photos again. And instead of witches this time, fire burn and cauldron bubble. Let's see what we've got for cauldron. Okay, nice. Now this is the one I'm going to choose. Now it says add to collage or move freely. Let me show you the difference there. If you put move freely, it kind of gives you this thing and you can pop it anywhere on the page. I don't actually want that. I want it to clip into the box. So I'll go back, click it. And the reason why this one is perfect is because it's got fire burn and it's also got the cauldron. These are the kind of things that are going to help you remember uh, quotes. Okay, we've got that there. Now I'll show you a few tips and tricks. You've got two dark images here. So on the left, I might click there and look at filters. So maybe I'll choose something like, oh, multiply or matte. I like it. And you can also click the shuffle there and it will go through different uh, styles until you find one that you really, really like. You can also play with things like the border so I can, you know, move that up and down. You can change the border just by clicking it and uh, change the color there. 
You can also bring it down slightly. I might bring the border down. Now, what I'm concerned about down here is that kind of the border is losing some of the uh, impact of the text. Let me show you what I do with style here. I can go in here and I can start messing around with the style. Now, text effects, I kind of like that color. I might give it a little outline, go to style again. And now, ooh, I like that one. Right, so I'm gonna make it slightly bigger and center it. Okay, so if you click into design here, you have all these kind of variations down here. So for example, I might choose something like this one. And then it kind of, it obviously changes what things look like. You might have to play with the scale and you might have to scale that one down so you can actually see these two witches here. Uh, but you can also play with the cell sizes as well. You might have to mess around with the text, center that. You might have to do the same here to center it in the right place. If that's what you like, that's cool. Otherwise, just undo until you get back to the one that you actually wanted, which was this. When you're done, you can download it and it'll download there for you. If you need to name your post, I forgot to do mine, I might call it Macbeth. And also if you need to share it, then you can publish it. You can create a link, send it as, a, as an email, send it via Google Classrooms, put it on social. Uh, so you just copy and then you can send that to your friends. Cool. I hope you found that useful, Digifans. As always, I want you to share your work with me. So do it. Use the hashtag Digidom or find me on the socials, Dom underscore trainer. As always, if you want to get these videos as soon as they come out, you have to subscribe. So subscribe, get on with it. And there's nothing else to say apart from, I'll see you in the next video.